Who is he? That's Mr. Dearman. Yeah. Tell him the story you want uh, to tell him. Yeah, he's a, he's a great old character. He used to get all the old dogs out of Walthamstow. Everyone knew him in the sport. Uh, very, very lovely man, wasn't he? <laughs> he couldn't see when he was driving. He, he, when, he, when he first came down to my kennel, Morris said, Johnny Dearman's coming down. I went, all right. He drove down. I just got Morris in my kennel, like because we split the kennel up, didn't we, Mel? Hmm. And uh, he drove down and he uh, killed the muskery duck that the farmer's <laughs> had for 25 years. Anyway, I thought we said, well, we've got to explain this one. And uh, anyway, I got away with that one. But the next week he came down, he done the other one. So that was 50 years worth of ducks. <laughs> so he, he done that in. But the, the funniest one was uh, one night we was going down, we was going to uh, where I had me, um, what did I have? Yeah, Colville, where we had me um, contract, wasn't it? Yeah. And we was going down there and uh, I had an old post van. And them days you used to just throw a bedding in the back of the van. <laughs> So I threw two bells in the back of the van, and I had a deck chair there, and, the, and I had two people sitting on the front seat. I said to Mo, you better get in the back, let the old boy sit on the front, in the front. He went, no, he said, let him get in the front, piss off, leave him in the front. I went, all right, so put Johnny in the back. I've gone round the roundabout, right, we've got six dogs in the back, he's gone over and all the dogs have jumped on him. I said to Mo, look, they, they're having him, they're doing him. He said, don't worry, you two's all right, you're all right. <laughs> So we're all laughing and we're like, we've had this family got the dogs off him, didn't we? And we got down to Colville and I said, I said, you all right? I'm looking, I'm trying to look after him, like, you know, I said, you all right, John? He said, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little bit, I feel a little bit bad, like, you know, I said, all right, look, I'll go down there and sit down. So he's gone over to the chair, chair <laughs> and, he's, and he's slumped on the chair and the chair's gone backwards and he's gone rolling away. Oh, no, I turned around to dinner, though. I said, I said, yeah, I said, he's had more falls than Dan Woody today, and he like, <laughs> So he, that, that was him, you know, that was Johnny Dearman. But what a, what a character, wasn't he, Mo? Oh, he was good, yeah. Johnny was with him before anyway. John was a kid when he was with him. Yeah. Johnny I remember, was, I remember when he got one day in Walthamstow, old man Chandler come up to Dearman. Yeah. He said, see that, take that when you go. Johnny said, he's the man to take it, me like, to, to the Chinaman at the airport. Yeah, yeah. He'll tell you now if I'm wrong. Yeah. And I took this bitch, to the Chinaman, mm -hmm. the acupuncture yeah. that I used to go to at London Airport. Yeah. And that bitch turned out the most famous bitch of all time. Do you know who that was? Chiquita Ballon. Ballon Derry Moth. Oh, 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 am I right? Yeah, she right. never won a race yeah, in yeah. Walthamstow yeah. up until yeah. then. Yeah. After that, am I right, Stan? Oh, yeah. She yeah. literally yeah. took off. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Barney O'Connor? Yeah. Barney O'Connor. Barney O'Connor. Barney O'Connor. Yeah. 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 She was going to run Walthamstow, she wouldn't run any away. No. An old man Chandler said to Damon, take that when you're going. He said, that bit, there's something wrong. Because the way she was going on the track, yeah. he do it. And a Chinaman, was he? Chinaman. A Chinaman with the acupuncture. Ac yeah, needles. Needle in there, needle. out the other side, in there. You want to see this? What was the bitch time she said? Uh, That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that was that was first, oh, so first race she had. Yeah. I, tried, I tried to buy her of the chap to come from near where I come from, at home. But they wanted telephone numbers. I said, forget about her. I was sitting indoors one night and the phone went. Hello, is that you, John? Yeah, Harry Finley. Yeah. Harry wasn't in the game for five minutes. Yeah. He said, I'm in Shelburne Park. I've seen a bitch. I want to buy it. Only if you'll train it. I said, what's the bitch? I said, a bitch called Chichita Banana. I said, I already tried to buy it. Ask the owners. I said, she's too dear. Not, I didn't say about the price, he said. Will you train her if I buy her? She's in the derby, this was. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, all right. When, the, when she was out of the derby. She went right through the derby, he had a fortune on her, and the last bet he had in the final of the derby was a 60,000 to 40 in a match bet with Odell yeah. Schooner, or Peckover's yeah. dog. Yeah. Peckover's dog finished last, she finished fifth. He had uh, five grand on her, a small bet for him, at 25 to one in the semi-final, mm -hmm. and she won the semi-final of the derby, got up right on yeah, the line yeah, by short yeah. She came over to me, she had a first race at Wembley and a 7-10. I'll never forget it, and I said to him, I said, she will not win, Harry. Ah, da, da, da. I said, Harry, she cannot win. John Parr come up to me afterwards, he says, can this win, John? I said, no. He says, he mad? He said, seven large on with me. I said, what? I said, put a few quid in there, will you? She chucked it at the last bend in the 7-10. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Can't remember. I don't think she finished the course. Mm -hmm. I said it'll take me a while to find the key of her. I found the key of her for Walthamstow. And when she took off that night, and Wembley was the next. Oh, Wembley was the next. You could hear him a mile away on the mic when she'd done the clock. Yeah. I'll take anyone in it. Yeah, challenge anyone in the country. Yeah. She was a pack. crowd puller because everywhere they went, everyone had a banana, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, 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 they dressed as bananas and all. She used to dress in plastic bananas. When, I went, yeah. bananas. when, I, went, yeah. when I went for the yeah. international in Shelburne with her and Sard, mm. the two of them, she'd done the clock and Sard yeah. was yeah. second to her. Yeah. All the banana yeah. crowd was yeah, there. Yeah, they she won the, the, the second leg of it in Wimbledon, first and second in it. Crowd pleasers, well, Tony just mentioned Chiquita Banana, but that's what we want now. In yeah. the old days, yeah, you had Bally yeah. Regan Bob. Yeah. I don't mean Bally Regan Bob, we won't win all the races. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Bally Regan Bob it never. I don't yeah. know. Oh, he did. He went to Romford and he won the, he won the, uh, the Essex Vars yeah. on a little track that weren't suited yeah. him and he won it. He, he took it anywhere. Oh, good track. Did he have, track was he a crab puller? Yes, he, like, took, he was a school of champ. He weren't, was well, he? No, no, he wasn't like school no, of champ. No. But, but he was, Curtis was a he proper, he, he, yeah. he was Get a brave man right. to take yeah. him to Romford. Yeah, he was. A brave man and he won it unbeaten and fair play to him. But when he went to the tracks, Bally Wagon Bob me. God. What Tony was saying about Chiquita dogs. Banana, they all had bananas. Well, right I mean, what she was, yeah. she no, was a crowd pleaser. Have no, because yeah. he was uh, he was just a good greyhound. Yeah. That, I mean, he was a fast greyhound, mm. yeah. and, and and he was a top dog. It's just yeah. everybody knew that was with these other dogs. They was like he was like a, a little bit of a twist to him, or yeah, yeah. Yeah. do you know what but I mean? That's what you it, wanted, yeah. yeah. Oh, with everybody. Yeah. Look, yeah. we had all characters. Them We're days. in 2020 yeah. now. Well, Gary, right. we had all characters that you go to the track and you'd have a laugh yeah. and a joke, and yeah. Now, yeah. and then yeah. all of a sudden it got to like miserable people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it had all, no the bubbles, people yeah. all the bubbles. All the bubbles that was yeah. doing yeah. dough and. And yeah. everybody was a laugh. You'd have a drink. You'd, yeah. you'd, you'd do four yeah. to fifty quid notes over yeah. the bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never forget. I was I was at Oxford. I never day. had a mind, but people used to do it. <laughs> and he come up. Used yeah, to make them. Used to print them. What are you talking about? <laughs> Trevor Cobble. Do you remember? He's another yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Cobble would put me on oh, a yeah. Joe other oh, DK. DK. Trevor Cobble. Yeah. I was at Oxford making the book. I never forget. And all of a sudden. <laughs> He'd come up with his white Mac and we had the board up for the anti-post for the Pell Mell. Yeah, yeah. So his first words, bearing in mind I'd done my bollocks in the afternoon at the racing or punting in the betting yeah, shop. Yeah. And I went there, I think I had about 700 <laughs> quid in my pocket for the night. So he's, he'd come up, Trevor, and he went, uh, I suppose you're like these other bookies, are you won't lay a bet. You know, and you could see he was a bookie A, yeah, Trevor yeah, Cobble. Yeah, yeah. And I said, hang on, mate, I said, before you start, why are you, why are you having a chip with me? I said, look, you can have what you want, right? So I had 700 quid in it. Anyway, <laughs> de it was decoy something in the morning. Decoy board, sovereign. Like Mal, right? sovereign. Decoy sovereign. Whatever it was. Like. It was, it was, it was, it was it ranch? Oh, no, was sovereign. Like but he, sovereign. He could have got Did he have a cowboy hat on? Trevor, he used to wear a cap. No, he had the white mat on, and it was 12 to 1. So he said, uh, he I want a proper bet. I want a proper bet. So I said, what do you want? He said, I want four grand at 12 to 1, right? Oh, he's pulled the four grand up. When I've seen the four grand, oh, he's going put in the bag. I've got 700 quid. Right? It was the first <laughs> round of the heat for the Pell Mell. I never oh, forget, I laid him a 48,000 or four, right? and I had 700. Yeah. And, and bearing in mind, there was no more indoors. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, no yeah. floorboards. No, 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 there was no, no floorboards. Yeah. So yeah. You never had a floorboard where we used to live. <laughs> so he said, Nick, wouldn't say it. <laughs> anyway, it, it, that was the first round, he, it come yeah. out. It won the, and he was saying about Mickey Weeble earlier, who was yeah, his yeah, yeah, or you yeah, were saying yeah, about yeah, Mickey yeah. Weeble. Yeah. Anyway, it won the first round, it, won the, it got through to the final, naturally, yeah, right? Yeah. Anyway, in the final, I'll never forget, I had a kid Clark in for me, and it's gone round the, anyway, it's a photo, two dogs in the photo, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, on the night as well, yeah. I'm thinking of the fan to give him when yeah, it went, yeah. there's a check there, yeah, but yeah. your check had more chance of, you could have yeah. bounced the check for the fucking hit you in the sky. <laughs> well, I had no possible chance of getting paid. Trevor Cobb up, right? But in the meantime, I sort of half made mates with him in that yeah, three yeah, weeks yeah. before. He was talking yeah. to me before. Yeah. Anyway, cut, never forget in the final, I had a kid clerking, and it's a phobia. Gone oh, past the line together, right? But he looked like one or It was Clark, desperate. Desperate. Right? And Mick oh. Weeble giving the announcing out the result. And the kid I had Clark, I'll never forget, and he said, uh, 
He said, oh, he said, we'll settle for a dead eat. Well, I said, dead eat, you silly bastard. <laughs> I said, there's no cost, a dead eat's no good, because I've gone anyway. Anyway, he give out Weevil, I, I think he give, I think it was in trap four, and he said, the winner, he hit about seven, I know how long it was, and he said, the winner of the Pell Mell is trap two, something beat him on the line. Oh, like, you know. And Cobble come up to me, Weevil we would have had a lot, right? Yeah. Cobble <laughs> come up to me after, yeah. and he said to me, he said, would you have been able to pay me if that were the one? Yeah. I said, no, impossible. <laughs> really? So Did you? Like, oh, yeah. Well, I, you I finished oh. up. His best mate, I had a dog there. My Danny was special needs, you know, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And we had a dog at Mild and All with him yeah. one night and he trained it. And yeah. he rung up and he said to me, and he was dying of cancer. Yeah. Oh, and he, yeah, rung yeah, us, yeah, he rung us up on the Monday yeah. morning and he said, Gary, bring Danny to the dogs tonight. The dog will win. Yeah. Right? And I think it was the first race, an A9 or yeah, A10. Yeah. And it won, yeah. and we never backed it or nothing. And he'd yeah. come to the line, and he'd just come out of his house with a white mac on, thin as anything, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah, he yeah. died two yeah. days later. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah. finished up like a story yeah. like that, yeah. and yeah. You, he was yeah. like you yeah. and that. Yeah. And we finished up, and, but he knew, he said, yeah. I had no chance of getting paid that yeah. money. I said, no, not one chance at all. And <laughs> since then, oh, but he was, he was yeah, another yeah, character, yeah, yeah, Trevor yeah, Cobble. Yeah, yeah. The best, one of the best sprinters I ever had come out of that yard. What, Cobalt? Yeah, Westmead Wonder. Westmead Wonder? He was a Westmead dog, and Westmead Wonder, a fawn dog. I went from Land's End to John O'Groats with him. You remember him? Yeah. There wasn't a dog in the country who could live with him. Go and he, got, he got broke up one night. I shouldn't have let the dog run in, in Long Eaton. A big sprint. And when I walked in the track, you could see the white frost on the ground. Now, I can't get to the lad, the jockey, to pull out. He went to the first bend and smashed, and I'll never forget it. The dog's toes was that bad. I ended up going to Paddy Sweeney that I never went to. Mm. I never rated him as a vet. I went to him, and he destroyed the dog. The dog never. I put him around Rye House on a Sunday morning, any day of the week, and if he couldn't break 17 seconds, he was a leg missing. He was yeah. one of the fastest. Yeah. We say take him for a walk. You had to take him for a different every day, yeah. and see Kenlan. You put him in the kennel, take him out, he wouldn't run out of your road. Mm. That was his dog. He never, yeah. ever won a race for Joe Cobble, relations. Mm. Well, he, he he Fraser, Black, it's Fraser Black turned up at Aylesbury one day. Yes. Fraser Black turned up at Aylesbury, remember? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Flinney, yeah. remember Flinney at Wembley? Yeah. Flinney and Moe, that was his name, Moe. Remember? The two brothers. They're two, bro they're two brothers. Yeah. Anyway, he's there, John Flynn. He was a bit of an handful, John. Making a book or punk? No, no, he was there and with Fraser. And he bought this dog. Well, Favourite for the Jaguar, it was called. <laughs> Jaguar. And it was one of the favourites for the Derby. Derby. Well, that was it, anyway. Mm. So he, mm. I was bringing the dog back for the ball here. It was a good, uh, just to give him a run, to bring him back, because to keep him fit. And the dog, he, Flynn, he went to me, I know what fucking dog you got. He said, no, walk out of this place with no clothes on if it wins. So I said, well, fucking let's see. So I went and they had 200, 200, 200 he had three bookmakers. Yeah. They took 200 quid yeah. each. Yeah. Five to two to give us, because Flynn had had his money on. We won, and, the, and this Jaguar was second. And he, I said, now walk out without your fucking clothes. And he wouldn't. I mean, we didn't do it, but there's a story there that that was the truth. That was at Aylesbury Strait. And, no, not Loudwater. This was at Aylesbury Strait. No, no, not George Rogers. No, not Loudwater. Aylesbury. Just near the prison. It went along the side. And Fraser, he took it, and I said, I'll tell you what I do to Flinny. I said, I'll run you, give me three weeks, and you bring any fucking dog you want on this straight, and I'll run you for five grand. Never heard from him, because the dog who was a good straight air, ball air dog, mm, yeah, and he yeah. knows the dog, because he was a fucking ball air dog, proper. And they wouldn't bet, they wouldn't, and pot, and then Potter was here, fucking, <laughs> you know, I mean, fucking the word. not a snail. I think, Coach, talking about them days and all the gambles that people, like, nine out of ten of them have all come off, what Ginger said, yeah. Paul, Ian, the how the reasons. fuck did bookmakers ever survive? Yeah. They did. Right, but I'll now tell you something, punters. Morris, right? I've done better when I was yeah. making a book on the flapping tracks than you did, because Everyone it's all about own. opinion. He yeah. thought his dog, Ian, was better yeah. than Paul. Yeah. 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 Morris thought his dog better was better than Tony's. Yeah. 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 And everything. Sean thought his dog was better than Ginger. Yeah. And that's why some days you was all in the same race. Right. Yeah. You might have three yeah. or four of you. Yeah, you graded and that's flapping, out. Gary. That was well, graded flapping. 
We're just talking about grading, not open racing. We went, we uh, took our dogs open, open racing. What's the same, well, Gary? I don't know. Well, I run Gary, the, I run the straight down at Colby's yeah, for a while in Brentwood. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. You'd come along to me, put us in. Yeah. yeah. If you I'll were in there, you, you knew what you over. went, right took, didn't you? He'd come along. Put us in, right on. So and you put them all in the same race? No, there's yeah. five or six of them put them in. Yeah. And I'd, the book you won? Say, I'd say to my young one, go round the back and get me to bring the dog out of the kennel. I'd put them out. Like you should do the inkly with me, John. No matter whichever one won, I'd go up to them and told you, didn't I? I told no, you. Now I got me. Put them all in together. But bookies survived more. Yeah, but you do talk about them, mate. I'll give you one here. Give you the best one you've ever had. It was mug punters them days, there ain't no. Everybody had a lorry load of fucking tellies, a lorry load of this, buy that. On the hip, five grand, lose it. That's why. There ain't here now. No matter what you want. What about punters, Mick? I think the people that own the dogs were the mugs, they, not mugs, oh, but they so. thought their dogs yeah. were better than it. Yes, yeah, I agree, I agree what you're yeah. saying, yeah, you're Gary, saying, but you also but had... How did Bookie survive? I don't well, get well, where they were. You're, you're saying how to survive. Let me tell well, you if he's got a dog in the first race and he punts it and it wins, he's gone out the door, gone home happy. Yeah. There's another seven races. You've got a chance I to remember get a few quid back. I yeah. remember going to Asheville went, one night. Went, and went, and went, money, I never money. see you pulling up and putting no. a push bike outside the door. They ain't, ain't been one to fit me yet, so <laughs> they're over with <laughs> But I remember going to Asheville one night, New Year's Eve, and I was with uh, Phyllis, who's like my first wife, who, you know, with me kids and that. And we went out there for New Year's, flash, flash bullets from London, like I've gone there. I've gone there about 700 quid. I walk, she lived in a place called Fruin Street, which in Scotland, Postle Park, it's the hardest place you could ever be. Walks across the thing to the, where the dog track was, Ashfield. First race, all of a sudden, watching it, whoever was on the, whoever was on the back, the scratch won. So I had three races watching it, I thought, oh, this is certainty, like the favourites. Right? So I joined in with me under two, what well, you can imagine. Nine o'clock after the eighth race, penniless. Right, <laughs> walking back, walking back from the track at Ashfield to yeah. Fruin Street, right? I ain't got a shilling, now I've got a facer, and face them and tell them, I ain't got no money. Hey, go get New on. Year's Eve, right? <laughs> and you, know, you know what I mean? I haven't got a shilling. But in them days, you, used to do it, didn't you, you right? found it, oh, but when you've been skinned, yeah, and all yeah, of us yeah, have been skinned yeah, at one yeah, stage and needed yeah. the money, but, but how did we always find the money to yeah, come yeah, again, yeah. didn't we? Let me, you tell, you. You got Let me tell you. Money. You can always get it. You can always ask someone to get a score a minute, have it on that one. There's your score. You wonder where all these things come out. I'll bring you right up to date now. That's what we want. Let's come up to date. Right up to date. First of all, who's the dog stand? Let's have a look where it is. Mildenau, isn't it? Oh, Mildenau. Yeah. Danny on the right. Turn over, turn over. Yeah, look. What year was that, Danny? Yeah. Got some up to eight years ago. Little Sammy. Yeah, I did it, I'm already. I didn't know. 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 I that's in the open on a Monday night, so I said, right. I went up and looked at it, had a deal with the fella, bought it off him. So I bought it back, give it to Maury to train. Yeah, Maury's got it. We've won about five opens on the turn at Romford, right, on a Friday night. Takes a bit of doing. Week after week, like the chop chop oat bitch, you know, bing out the box, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, go. So, of course, I don't gamble. You know me for years, Gary, I don't really gamble, do I? No. I'll, I'll get the pleasure of organising goods yeah. and things yeah. like that, yeah. or yeah. buying yeah. and selling yeah. a car or repairing an house. Yeah. Oh, I enjoy yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, Murray gets one of his bright ideas. Let's go up to uh, Askin, was it, or Igate? Oh, Igate, oh, we go up on Igate on a Sunday night. Yeah. So, he gets three of his mates, and I've got my old mate with us, so we've got the dog in the back of my estate car. It's pissing down the rain, Sunday. Off we go to Wyregate. We get there, it's the worst track I've probably seen. Pitch black. No lights about the place at all. Up On a Sunday there. night, yeah, Sunday night. So I thought, what are you going to get here? So I mean, we had a cup of tea. I'm talking to a couple of fellas, two bookmakers. I'm keeping an eye on the bookmakers. <laughs> and they're taking £10, £20 bets. And the boys in the car, they worked all out, they could have 900 quid on between them. That's without <laughs> me having a bet. And I've looked at lights, I don't want a bet. So we've gone down to the paddock. And Mo's friend took the dog in. Big geezer, big as you, Gary. Anyway, he's had a trap drawer. He's got this bag. He's put his hand in the bag. He drew out a white ball. And now the dog wants one bad. So what the bastard done, he's put it back and 
got the red. <laughs> he put the ball back, didn't he, in front of us. He's put it back and gone, no one's complained because he's the wise everyone, I suppose. Yeah, they've got the geezer with the, 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 the sixth dog in the Yeah, way. they've got the geezer behind me with the sixth dog. Now he's got he, he's just with a London accent. He said, you won't beat this dog. He said, in six, track champion. I thought, well, that's convinced me I'm not having a bet. So anyway, go outside, didn't we? Open up, six to four on the sixth dog, track champion, five to four our dog. So, five to four? Yeah, five to four, yeah. wasn't it? Five to four. No so they've got have 900 quid on between them. So I thought, well, I ain't taking no notes. I'm having me cup of tea and I, but the trap's open, bing, he's gone, led all the way. Your one? Yeah, it's yeah, no, so, yeah. lovely. So I'll give him half out, finish the tea, give him the dog a drink, the fella hasn't met him outside afterwards. And I thought, well, they ain't got a paper hat. So I go outside, geezer come up, got the 900 pound on at five to four. That morning, has a joke with a kid, didn't you, a little kid? He said, give us 75 pound, you can have this dog, mate. <laughs> No, 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 Giving the dog a little drink and that in the motor, and we yeah. the geezer's come out with a kid. Right? What's the dog? What's the dog? So I said, look, look. I said I was only having a joke with a kid. I've been giving the kid a pony. <laughs> yeah. Give him the pony. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept the dog. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. caught with it. Yeah. 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 Y
Erin yeah. Dice. No, oh, 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 who's, who's the downfall of the, who's the top man in the GRA? Well, uh, it's got it's Bob Rowe. No, 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 Clive Felton, no, no, sorry. Right. But is it all Do you know then, who yeah. owns Bellevue? Yeah, Clive Felton. Clive Felton and Bob Rowe. Oh, no, no, no. No, well, they sold it. That's who owned it. That's who bought it. They went in as a retired old people. The GRA ain't put nothing back. Now, you know your place was closed. There was yeah. two sets of books to Portsmouth yeah, that thanks. was found out. Yeah, yeah, no. The same at Oxford, he closed them all. Clive Feltham. Yeah, Do you Clive know how Feltham, much yeah. Clive Feltham got for every track he closed? Million, I think. One million yeah, pounds. Yeah, off of yeah. Gallagher Homes. Yeah. Who's Gallagher yeah. Homes? Yeah. Yeah. The Irish farmers yeah, is putting worry, up the money yeah. for yeah. that. They have money in the world. Million. Every track they closed, right. he gets John. a million. John, let's go round, right, on what we're thinking, right? Tony, Ian, 2020, where are we going? My honest opinion is that the They've got no good vets and tracks because you won't stand at a track for 300 for yeah, one yeah, quid yeah. when you can open your door and earn that in an hour in a st if you've got your own practice. Yeah, so a, 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 you've got to get decent vets. You stand there and watch a race. If you've got the eye, you watch a race. I'll bet you four or five out of them six is late. Really? You can see it, and they just pass them. They just go like that, like that. Yeah, they don't check it. Don't. When have they ever gone like that with the teeth? Never. And that's shit going in their body. If you don't keep the teeth clean, you've got all it's the acid and shit. So there's another thing. You've got the wrong. You haven't got. Mm. They should have their own vets. Mm. They definitely have their own because they've got the money mm. coming yeah. in. That's what I said for you. They should have a track where they have their offices. They're paying 1.4 million for yeah, fucking offices. Right. Why they can't have they have, have that in a the track? Wimbledon. They could have had Wimbledon, had their that's offices right, yeah. there. Yeah, I'm a sitting bum. I'm a sitting bum. You're the most up to date training them with all of us. I'm up to date now. Now you would right. know. Now. We're 2020 again. 2020. Where are we going to go? Well, you know, it's the only time in racing I've ever earned money training dogs. Over. Earning earn. money. Yes. Earning yes. money. Yes. 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 Literally earning money. So you don't money. care whether you win or lose, you're still going to no. get a few. I'll still get my way. You turn up with 10 dogs at Central Park tonight. Yeah. How much do you cop? Well, if ten I, dogs, if if ten I, I don't get ten dogs. No, I'll get, if you've got ten, well, right uh, ten dogs, I'd probably come out with about five or six hundred quid. That's without winning. Just for yeah. running them. Just, just for so running. So you've got your days. So work, I've got, got my got days work, you know, and the dogs get fed properly and everything. So, so in one way, we're yeah. all saying we're going backwards two thousand yeah. and twenty. No, me, yeah, yeah, totally. I think most of the trainers. You're saying there that yeah. as a trainer, yeah. it's the best time you've ever. It's probably the best. It's the time I've ever In fact, the owners, Paul. Yeah. People like me, if I own dogs or Tony own dogs, yeah. we go to work in the day. Yeah. We've got to get up at eight o'clock yeah. in the morning. No, the I, 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 the look, listen, I, it's not catering for the owners. I don't think. But so. as a trainer, as a trainer, now, this is the best time. This is the best time. Well, definitely yeah. money, but the money wise. Money wise. Once again, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Not for the first time at the Sovereign Stakes at Rye House. No. They say that sprinters retain their speed and their form remarkably well, but this guy is really no, incredible. A fantastic dog, Michael. Really, I mean, to miss a year and then come back and win it again. I mean, it's the hardest sprint, I would think, in the calendar to win. Anyway, and to come back and win it after missing a year, and all the racing he's had in the middle, you know, 
He's just one fantastic dog. Incredible record. I think he's had about 83 races now, one about yeah. 35 yeah. of them. How do you keep a dog on the wrist? Go? Carried a wrist like, you know, for the last half a dozen, I'd say. You know, to come back sound, and now he's pulling up sound again. It is magic. So where do we go from here? I mean, he's four years of age. Don't know. Don't know. We'll have to sort something out for him. Might go for the TV trophy. <laughs>